Hello and welcome back to 9XE The Show. Have you guys ever stopped visiting a place because it has some connection with your unpleasant past? Well, we might have that choice, but our film stars don't. And something of that sort has happened with Salman Khan. Salman is shooting for his film, Prem Ratan Dan Payo, in Gondal Palace, 35 kilometers away from Rajkot. But is that all? Not really. This is the same place where Salman shot Hamdil De Chukke Sanam with Aishwarya Rai. The first part of this cult movie was shot in Gonda in 1997, which also marked the beginning of the very popular affair between Salman and Aishwarya. They were Bollywood's it couple then. Their relationship's popularity surpassed that of the film. Their pairing looked great both on and off the screen. But like we know, it was not a happy ending for them. The relationship ended on a very sour note. But has Salman moved on? The 49-year-old star is said to have been most passionate about his relationship with Aishwarya. So does that mean going back to the same place to shoot will take him down the memory lane? Will he be disturbed at work because of the same location? Hmm, difficult to say, but we hope not. After all, the two of them have moved on in life and look to be in a good place. And talking about staying strong, Ayushman Kurana's film, Dam Laga Ke Haisha, has hit the theaters. Let's see if he will be able to carry the weight of this movie well. Hello, my name is Prabhu Daima. And I am Rahul. And we have seen Dam Laga Ke Haisha. Haisha. There's a story about love that comes in all sizes. Now, I mean all sizes. Ayushman Kurana's character, Prem Prakash Tiwari, is actually forced to marry Sandhya, which is played by Bhumi Pednekar, who is actually not a conventionally beautiful woman. Uh, I mean, she's a little healthy. And it's a story about about their bittersweet journey. So, film is Ayushman Khurana who's done a fabulous job. Now, he is one hard working actor. He totally. works really hard on his characters, be it Hawaii Zada, where he plays a Maharashtrian, or here, where he's playing a man from Haridwar. Getting that dialect right, he does that effort and it can be seen and he's done a brilliant job. Bhumi Pednekar has done a terrific job. It's her debut film but it does not look like a debut film at all. She's that comfortable in front of the camera. Her one-liners, her reactions, her dialogue delivery are actually impeccable. And the icing on cake, Mr. Sanjay Mishra. Now sometimes all you need is the right supporting cast to take your movie just that one notch higher and Sanjay Mishra does it beautifully. And hey, hey, we gotta mention the star who's in the movie. We can't be We have to man, come on. Okay. Spoiler alert. Okay, Jinko Nay Sunnay wo Khan Bankaro, Baki Sablok. Kumarsan is in the movie. So Prabhu, tell me what do you think of the movie? Well, I think it comes from a very honest place and the movie is all hard. Sharad Kataria has done an amazing job with the writing and the direction and Haridwar is shown in like a completely different way and I really love how they've shot there. In this day and age of movies like Action Jackson, this movie is a breath of fresh air. So, on the hot slot, I give Dam Laga Ki Aisha four thumbs up. And even I give it four thumbs up. So, this was our Vishesh Tipani Dam Laga Ki Aisha. Par. मैं आपको मिलूंगा कुछ ही देर में एक और मूवी के रिव्यू के साथ विद नॉट हिम बट नफीसा Moving on from that, it seems like the feud within the censor board continues. Only this time it looks like Bollywood might benefit from it. The long list of cuss words that the censor board's new chairman, Palaj Nihalani, had banned has finally been put aside. Nihalani's meeting with his board members on Monday got very heated when the topic of whether foul language should be allowed in films was brought to the table. Senior members like Nandini Sardesai, Ashok Pandit, Chandra Mukhi Sharma and Chandra Prakash Devedi opposed to the ban rather vehemently. In his defense, Nihalani said that he was going by the book. So to counter this point, Chandra Mukhi Sharma showed him the Cinematographer Act that says that while making any changes, the board members have to be taken into confidence. Nihalani was pushed on the back foot so much so that he even cancelled a workshop that was organized the next day for members on how to deal with cuss words. This decision to keep a hold on the list of cuss words is obviously good news for actors and filmmakers alike. I hope that uh, these kind of words don't get banned. I think certification is very important. And I think making sure that content is clean is important. Uh, but banning random words like that without knowing the context of them, I mean, very soon we won't be able to show any negative characters in films whatsoever. I mean, uh, films have to be a representation of real life. Censor is required because India has so many sensitive issues, you know, there's so many communities. So that tab has to be kept. But using this, I mean, you give a certificate if these words are kept, 
यू गिव इट एन ए सर्टिफिकेट राइट सो वो ही होना चाहिए ये मुझे लगता है कि फिल्म फिल्म के हिसाब से होना चाहिए और कुछ फिल्में ऐसी भी होती हैं जिनमें वो शब्द का इस्तेमाल होता है तो उनमें ए सर्टिफिकेट दिया जाए और स्ट्रिक्टी फॉर अडल्ट रहे तो कोई मुझे लगता नहीं है कि और वो जो जब सर्टिफिकेट मिलता है ए सर्टिफिकेट तो थिएटर वालों को भी उसे स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलो करना चाहिए बट लाइक दिबाकर बैनर्जी पॉइंट आउट इट शुड नॉट ओनली बी फिल्म मेकर अगर ये फिल्म मेकर के साथ हो रही है तो ये जनता के साथ भी हो रही है तो फिल्म मेकर से बार बार बुलवा के कि ये गलत है ये गलत है ये गलत है आपको अच्छे और चटखारे वाले बाइट्स मिल जाएंगे लेकिन इशू नहीं सॉल्व होगा इशू तभी सॉल्व होगा जब जो फिल्में देखते हैं और जो फिल्में बनाते हैं वो मिल बोले यार हमें डिसाइड करने दो हम क्या देखेंगे और हम क्या बनाएंगे ए फ्यू स्टार्स इवन थॉट दैट द सेंसर बोर्ड वाज डूइंग मोर देन व्हाट वाज नीडेड फ्रॉम इट ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग द फैक्ट इज दैट द सीबीएफसी इज अ फिल्म सर्टिफिकेशन बॉडी सो द फैक्ट इज दैट दे हैव टू सर्टिफाई अ रेट ऑफ फिल्म डिपेंडिंग ऑन द कंटेंट दैट अ सर्टेन एज और बिलो शुड नॉट बी एबल टू वॉच बिकॉज़ इट्स मैच्योर कंटेंट रिस्ट्रिक्टेड कंटेंट एंड दैट ट्रूली इज देयर फंक्शन you know so i mean the filmmaker should have the freedom to make the film that he or she wants to make and it's the responsibility of the film certification board to say that okay only this age and above or then a universal audience can watch the film but while some filmmakers might be rejoicing a film like badlapur had to bear the brunt of the censor board scissors sir me kya hua ki unhone matlab itna humse cuts manga jo ua karne ke liye to mujhe laga ki jo main jo hamara tone tha film ka ek disturbing kuch hai usme to wo dilute ho jayega तो मैंने कहा नहीं ठीक है हम ए सर्टिफिकेट से करेंगे और यूए में क्या होता है यूए में बच्चे भी आ जाते हैं सर द फिल्म डायरेक्टर श्री राम राघवान माइट हैव इनिशियली सीम्ड ओके विद एन एडल्ट सर्टिफिकेट फॉर हिज फिल्म बट नाउ इट लुक्स लाइक ही डिसाइडेड टू सेंसर द फिल्म हिमसेल्फ लाइक वी टोल्ड यू ऑन नाइन एक्सी डॉट कॉम श्री राम हैड शॉट ए फ्यू इंटरमिट सीन्स बिटवीन वरुण डावन एंड यामी गौतम बट नाउ दीज सीन्स अपियर ओनली इन फ्लैश एट द एंड ऑफ द फिल्म इट्स ए ब्लिंक एंड मिस मोमेंट दैट प्लेज वन मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑडियंस इज लिविंग द थियेटर्स We wonder why Sri Ram decided to do this. Was he trying to beat the censor board at their own game or was he just playing safe? It seems more like it's the latter. Coming up, Sri Sant talks exclusively about his transition from cricket to movie.